Hey, hey, hey everybody, Pit Mick here from the CoinOps Discord server and uh, thought I'd do a video showing how uh, servo sticks have now been officially added and supported within certainly next two at the moment and hopefully in diamonds, but the diamonds works a different way. It works by, um, it doesn't work by system, it works by uh, game collections, um, game types, so it's more difficult to, to do because the um, they change often enough, so I'll see what I can do with uh, diamonds builds. But certainly with next two, it was easy enough to sort out. So I'll show you uh, how it is. So these are the four folders in the zipped build, and the first thing you need to do when you want to add Servo Stick support is you will need to install Joy Tray Setup, which is the Servo Stick software. And once that's installed, that's the actual name of the program it will come up as, and you need to have it installed in joy joy tray now it might work without installing it i've just installed it and i've left it there so it might work as is but i think it does need to put some uh info to the registry so you might need to do install it and make sure it's installed in that particular folder and all that is listed there but the other thing you need to also make sure is that when you boot um uh, your pc boots you need to make sure that this program joy tray launches on startup of your pc in order for it to work consistently in your next build or your coinops builds okay that's really important so the software is free software it doesn't doesn't cost anything uh, but this is this is what you need now i will make it clear if you don't have servo sticks don't bother with this don't don't bother downloading it you don't need it it's only if you have servo sticks this is useful okay um if you're going to get servo sticks in the future and i definitely am i like these and i like the idea and it works really well uh, then uh, I'll put a link in the description of where you can get them from, but they're awesome. And the Samwa branded jet sticks and uh, micro switches. So, you know, that's absolutely fine. So I'm going to, uh, then you put these various folders in the uh, folders in the um, root of your next two build. So you can see in collections, there's arcade official and there's arcade official servo stick four way, or it could be two or four way, but I've left it as four way. And inside there, there's no files except playlist, system artwork, which I don't think it actually uses, doesn't need it, but it's there anyway, and settings on conf. And if I go into the settings.conf, you can see it's actually the same as uh, the arcade official one, except I've changed it to bat, and it's using the same ROMs folder, uh, and that's it basically, and it's using its own launcher, which is listed there. So it's got its own launcher, and that's important. So, uh, and the arcade official, will have arcade official serverways for sub in its put in its folder. Now this is this is where it differs slightly. So exclude servo stick list is the list of all the games in MAME that can use servo sticks in two or four way mode. Or right, use up no more than four directions. Okay, and there's about five hundred and fourteen I think there are. So obviously not all of those games are in your Coinops builds pretend probably anyway for many of us. So therefore otherwise they'll list as games uh, as just text names for games and which is this is no good you don't want that so i've worked it in a way that makes it easy for you to add them progressively uh when you've got servo sticks that list is just useful to have so if i just copy in fact if i just copy that to uh arcade official so collections arcade official and i'm just going to paste that in there so uh, my exclude for the arcade official doesn't exclude any games from the arcade official collection uh, but the servo stick list gives you the list of the game names or the rom names of the games that should be excluded from that when you add them so if i i've actually done this already so if i go into my main uh roms uh, emulators official and main because that's where main is stored and on games roms and then go down to uh, the bottom, I've sorted it by file types so at the bottom of the bat files that is because these games run via bat files Amida and those whatever games, I've added them, so they will so those games need to be added to the arcade exclude list so uh, you know what I'm going to do I'm going to just, I'm just going to take a few out because I just, uh, it's going to take me a while to type them in so I'll just do Amida and Carnival and I'll put them back where they belong because those any ROM for any bat files you don't need you can put them in the inside the ROMs folder there's a servo stick ROMs folder that I've added there's no games in there it's just bat files 
and if I put I can paste them back in there because I just cut them earlier and now they're back in there so if I now go back to the ROMs you basically just paste the ROM the bat files for the games you want to fight, play via uh, servo stick otherwise they'll display twice in your collection which is no good so uh, this is why I said it's only useful for people who own servo sticks who have them connected up to their cabs or their PCs or whatever the control panels uh, so if I go into coin ops now it will list um, oh I forgot which games they were now I think it was Carnival and Amidar I think uh, in fact I'm just going to go in now let's go in now and check so I'm going to come out actually I can't remember the bat files I've, I've left in there uh, under emulator official main ROMs uh, down at the bottom aren't they uh, Amidar and Carnival. Right, okay. Let's see if no, I can check those games out. So, next two. So, uh, as you'll see on the later in the video, the games that I select, I'll select, I've put in later in the video. I put a few more bat files in. I put a few like uh, Donkey Kong and Gallagher and a few others, and I test Amidar and Gallagher. Um, so, I'll test that, and you'll see that the bat, the servo sticks work. So, if I go into arcade. Uh, Amidar, which should be listed here, will, I think will be listed twice. Yeah, as you can see, it's listed twice. The reason why is because it's listed under the arcade official, as you'd expect, but because I've made a sub-collection and I've, I've added Amidar as a bat file, it's looking for the bat file of Amidar as well that I used to launch the servo sticks. So it's listing twice. Now, the first one will just boot the game as though using a controller, and the second one will use it with the bat files. Now... If you've got if you've got servo it's using servo sticks, if you've got servo sticks connected, you don't need both listed. You just need the one that uses the bat, uh, the servo stick bat file. So here's what you do, because that's what's going to happen when you add the bat files without doing anything else. So you go into collections, you go into arcade official, and you're basically looking at the exclude list. Now it's blank. That's okay for now because this is why I'm going to give you the list of all the games that use servo sticks, and you look for those games that are doubled up. So Amidar was one. And it's there. So you basically add that. Sorry. Well, you could you could cut it. I'm just going to copy actually. Uh, put it back. I'm just going to I'm just going to copy that. And I'm going to put it in exclude list for the arcade official. That means it will not display twice. And in Carnival, which I think was a bat file, is there. I'm going to copy that to the exclude list of the arcade collection, arcade official collection. So now that I've done that. I'm just going to get rid of that. I don't need that now. So you basically, on the exclude list, to use servo sticks, you just add to the exclude list of the arcade official. All right, so if I save that, you can see it's changed the date to down and time. Uh, so I go to clue that they go. So those two games will still be listed, but they will not be listed via the arcade official. They will come through from the arcade official servo stick from the bat files, which will work and will boot the servo stick game with the servo sticks uh, activated, which is exactly what we want. So you do have to add each ROM name to the exclude list of the arcade official, this file uh, there. But I'm going to give you the list of the exclude games for servo sticks, which is all of these. And you just copy the ones that you have in your collection to the exclude list of Arcade Official so they don't show twice. If I left it as if I just left all that as exclude uh, in the exclude list for um, your next two build, you would have lots of game names in that list that are just text names. They're not logos because they're not included in next two. But you could add them yourself uh, if you've got them already. So. Those two games now, in the exclude list that I've added these two games, they should now only list once. So Amida should only list once. So now if I go back to... So I'm now in my uh, next two... Oh, seems to have shifted. Right, so I just need to go to... Here we go. Right, so I'm going to Arcade. Amida should only be listed once this time. So I'm just using my keyboard rather than the controller. Right, so Amida should only be listed... There it is, it's listed once. Now, hopefully, the sound of the activated servo stick should be heard on the microphone. I hope so, because I'm going to shut up, which, uh, which when I press enter on my keyboard now. So I'm just going to press and go. Yes. That, that, that noise, if it should be heard, I hope it is, were the servo sticks moving to four-way directional mode. Awesome. 
So now if I uh, come out, there you go. Each servo stick in turn goes back to eight-way mode by default. Absolutely brilliant. So that's sorted. Now, Carnival should also be listed. Right, where's Carnival? Ah, it's not in, actually in, incorporated into it. I mustn't have the game. But I'll boot. It probably won't work, but I'll boot it anyway. It probably won't work because I don't think it's part of it. But the, but the servo sticks are working. And then it goes back to four-way, eight-way mode because it can't find the game because the game's not in my build. So there we go. So... Yeah, so you have to be careful what ones you're adding because obviously they need to be in the build. But you could add you could add a carnival in the artwork in the video anyway. So that is that. So now I'm going to go onto my phone. I'm going to show you uh, to actually show you the servo sticks working and show you what you need to do. All right, guys. See you. See you shortly. Right, guys. I've gone onto my uh, phone so I can record the footage on the screen, which I uh, want to do. So the uh, servo sticks, which you can see just underneath my monitor there, both of them in eight-way mode at the moment, um, and I've just put some of those bat files into the main ROMs folder. So only those particular games will boot by using a servo stick, and, um, and the ones I've put in just to see are at the bottom with bat files there. So you can see Amidar Carnival. Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong 3, Donkey Kong Jr., Gallagher Invaders, and Invaders Part 2. So, I'm sure they will work. So, I'm going to boot my um, next two build. I'm sorry about the mess on my desk, but uh, constantly messing with stuff at the moment. So, let's just go back to next uh, CoinOps next two, and let's just boot this. So, it's on screen now. So, I've not got the speakers on here. I've got my headphones on as I'm recording, so you won't hear any sound. So let's just go in. I've got my controller. So I'm going to start with uh, Amidar. So I'm going to Arcade. And if I go to Amidar, I think that's what I need. Eh? So I'm trying to record with one hand and move a controller with the other. So where's Amidar? Where it? There it is. Right. So because Amidar was one of those bat files, and you can see it's listed and it's in the Arcade official pack. But it's only listed once because it's not using the, it's not using the arcade official because it's on the exclude list in the arcade official pack. But it is being brought through by the arcade official servo stick uh, files, so it should now boot using the servo sticks, which you should see move when I press my button. In fact, I press enter because you can probably see my finger over enter here. So if I press enter now, watch it should go into the game and the servo stick should work. There you go. So there you go, it's working in four-way mode there for, my, for Amidar. Now, if I just press, uh, I've got my controller here, so I'm just going to go back and start. There we go, back to eight-way mode. And you can tell the eight-way mode because where they are, you can see it can access all four corners uh, with both micro switches, so that means it can do diagonals. But when it switches to eight-way mode, um, it, those corner uh, micro, those switches can't be accessed by the joystick so that means it will only work in four-way mode so there we go so there's Amidar so let's try I can't remember what the other ones are but I know Space Invaders is one so I'm just going to do that one and then I'll call it a day because you can see that it's working if I just go so I'm holding the right I should have gone the other way never mind oh Gallagher that was the one I put in before let's do Gallagher oh I've run past it it's not easy to see it on a phone Right, there's Gallagher. So let's just see if I press my button now because it's not it's not showing twice. It's in the arcade official pack, but this is using it. This is a sub collection version of it, and it's not using any extra files. It's using what's already existing in the arcade official pack. Press my A button to go into it, and there you go. The servo sticks boot the game, and that is now in effectively for Gallagher two way mode. So that's it. And then if I press, which I'm about to do here. Back and start. There you go. The servo sticks went back to eight-way mode. Awesome. So that's probably the best way to add servo stick support. I'll put the files in its own servo stick ROMs folder. And for any games you want to work in servo stick mode, just put the bat file in its place. And that's basically it. Okay. So that's it. I'll leave it there. Thanks very much. Give us a like and a support uh, for the channel by giving us a thumbs up and a like. And obviously, if you're learning, uh, enjoying what you're learning, make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell because I'm going to do all sorts of stuff to do with Next and CoinOps 
I'm going to, anything that you've got ideas for, you want me to try out, I will happily just put a suggestion, give us a comment. You know, I want you to learn how to do things for yourselves. And I want to add as much support as I can to CoinOps because I think for me, it's the best front end I've ever used. And it's absolutely mint. Awesome. Brilliant. Take care, guys.